Megan Hall. Megan, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Good to see you. Um, wanted to just ask you and get your thoughts after reviewing the film from from last game and, and I guess connecting with your coaching staff. Was there any like major takeaways you guys had regarding the offense and I guess how to get things going again? Yeah, um, didn't do a great job of just sharing the ball. I mean, um, you look at our first 10 possessions and most of them weren't great, great shots. Um, one pass, we had a lot of one pass shots, early shots that leads to transition. Um, that's just in general, it doesn't matter what team you play. You know, the earlier you take a shot in the shot clock, especially if it's not a good shot, you know, your defense is just, you know, at risk. Um, so I, I think we have to focus a little bit more on moving the ball side to side, um, as well as getting north-south attacks, getting two feet in the paint and then being able to spray it out to create some some easier opportunities for easier shots. Thank you. Go ahead, Shane, pal. Coach, you talked about opportunities for easier shots. Um, yeah. I noticed over the last five games that Haley has scored a total of 16 points. Have there been any conversations just about getting her more involved on the offensive side? Um, no, I mean, Haley needs to continue what she's been doing. Um, I thought I thought she started the season being very, very assertive, picking her picking her spots and different things like that. So she just needs to to continue to do that, continue to look for those opportunities where she could find where she could find um, her spots and and be assertive. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Oldham. Hey, Coach T, I just wanted to talk about the defensive adjustments, just having 17 threes uh, allowed for Mystics now coming up against the top five threes. Um, when you have this Indiana team, just any thoughts on those defensive adjustments coming into this matchup? Yeah, I think I think we have to do a better job of first just with our effort. Um, our guards the last game didn't do a great job of keeping the ball in front of them. Um, and so I think whenever you're able to break down the defense and you have to bring two, two, two to the ball, um, which was a lot that happened a lot to us last last game where we had to bring two to the ball and Washington's a really good team in terms of sharing the basketball. So every single time we brought two to the ball, they made us they made us pay for it. So I think the guards need to do a better job of of um, keeping keeping people in front of them so we don't have to bring that extra person for help. And if I could add one more, just um three keys uh, for tonight's broadcast that you have against this Indiana fever team. Yeah, we got to do a great job of um, sprinting back, getting in transition, not allowing them to score easy points in transition. On the flip side, we need to push in transition. Um, I think we'll have, we'll get some opportunities where we can really um, get some easy score opportunities as well if we push the ball and our pace is, is um, where it needs to be. Um, I think we have to eliminate easy things for them in terms of offensive rebounding. Smith, Boston, both top offensive rebounders, so creating extra opportunities for them by uh, we have to defend without fouling. Um, I think offensively, I just said it, we need to be um, relentless in how we share the ball. Um, we need to attack. I think we can get some north-south attacks, two feet in the paint, off the dribble and by post entries, um, and then being able to play off of play off of that. Go ahead, Angel. So it's just a silver lining with um, what you've asked for more defense, especially on the back line, Nia Coffey uh, picking up her season high in the last game, got more minutes in the last game as well. Some mm -hmm. things that you want to see built off of her performance in um, that matchup and, and how you see her continuing to impact both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think, you know, for us, Nia um, brings a lot of versatility. So we need her versatility on both ends of the floor, um, offensively being able to stretch the floor, but also being able to put it down um, and create opportunities. Same thing I just said, um, the ability to put the ball on the floor and attack um, their bigs, get two feet in the paint. And when we bring, when they bring extra help, you know, finding finding our open shooters defensively, being able to guard multiple people, using our athleticism um, to guard multiple people on the defensive end. Um, so we need Nia to continue using her versatility on both ends of the floor. And you've uh, talked about wanting to share the ball more. Just looking at the uh, box score, uh, it looks like uh, Alicia Gray has been able to uh, add more value in sharing the ball. She assisted on 13 points for you guys, had the highest with five assists. Are you seeing a different um, playmaking ability from her over the last few games? 
Um, I think I think I see a lot of like she's being intentional about what what we're asking and what we're looking for. Um, and so I think that that helps with that and having an open mind about the reads that need to be made, um, seeing different things. And so I think that's opening things up for her. I thought um, to start the season, her and Rye had a really good connection in terms of in transition, really looking for one another. So I think that's that's probably where some of that is coming from, too. Um, but I think she's being a little bit more intentional about um, having her head up, having her um, head on a swivel and looking for the different reads that that are available. And then just the last one for me, Coach, I mean, when you have a Caitlin Clark that can stretch the floor um, yeah. a great distance, but also dealing with Aaliyah Boston in the balance um, on the inside, just a few things that um, that presents as far as what you have to do defensively, um, that's different than any other team you've seen in this season. Uh, I think we have to take in, we have to, we have to stay in space. I think um, when you have somebody like Clark, you definitely have to, uh, you have to stay in her space. You can't allow her to create space. Um, and obviously Boston creates our own problems with just her strength, her ability to get deep touches, deep seals. So we have to do our work early in the post. Um, we can't run down and try to pick her up at the block by then it's way too late. You know what I mean? We have to be physical and we have to start touching her around really right across the three point line, free throw line, start holding her up there. Um, Smith is another one offensive rebounding, um, playing really well for them, stretching the floor. So we, we can't fall asleep on on their players. Um, I know they have Boston, I know they have Clark, but they have some other weapons that can really hurt you uh, while out there. And we'll finish up with Emmanuel. Emmanuel, go ahead. Hey coach, real quick, just give me a quick update on the mood of the team. Is the team ready to go for a game like tonight? What are your thoughts? Yeah, they're pros. I hope they're ready to go. <laughs> I hope they're <laughs> mooded, I, I, you know what I mean? They're professional athletes at the end of the day. Um, you know, you take a butt whooping like we took in, in Washington. Um, you, you, you look at, you look in the mirror, you look at what you did wrong, what you could do better, and the next game you try to do that. Um, and so I think we have we have pros in our locker room and they'll come out ready to go tonight. Have a good one, coach. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you guys.